We got to run a little dry lubricant today, so uh, we're going to get this bad boy turned on, see what happens. Turning on the dryer, it's going through its purge cycle. Let's make sure it starts up. Man, I did not sign up for this. Oh, Lord. Luckily, it's too warm to stick, but... Goodness. I live in the South, so I don't have to deal with this. Well, this motor just took an absolute shit. I had to kill the power to this damn thing, so. Anyway, I'm gonna pull the whole motor and gearbox off, get a new one ordered, try to have it overnighted. Mm. Two things you can never go without. Bearing puller and WD-40. Let's get it off. Starting, did not really move. And we're getting it torqued down damping off. Had to order another one of these. Pretty simple. We'll get it uh, thrown back on and wired up, but it will not be delivered until tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow. And pay to have it overnighted, but one of these motors and uh, motor gear boxes. Ha! Now, back to this. So, this is undergone a couple of uh, filtration steps. There's still some solids in here, so before we undergo any further filtration steps actually what we're going to do is something fairly cool there are specific enzymes that we can also use to solubilize some of these solids that are still in that solution so that's actually what we're going to do now we're going to adjust the ph we're going to be on the acidic side now so somewhere between 4.5 and 5.5 add another enzyme let it continue to react and then go through additional filtration steps to see how it shakes out on the other side so Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started with that and uh, yeah. watch. So I'm preparing my buffer solution here. I'm gonna put uh, 250 mils of water, that's three grams of potassium hydroxide there. And we'll let this go clear. The pH of this right now is currently five, so I don't need to uh, adjust it any further. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my buffer solution that in case it gets too acidic and it inactivates the efficiency of the enzyme, I can always buffer it back up. And the reason why is that as it undergoes enzymatic hydrolysis, it is going to release uh, specific amino acids in solution that can have an acidifying effect. So anyway, it's just there if we need it. Uh, if we need to acidify it, I'm, I've got uh, citric acid right here that we can also introduce. So anyway, uh, we'll get going on this. Temperature's almost up. We'll add the enzyme. Let it, uh, let it cook. Let's see if I can do this on camera. I'm going to add approximately 5 grams of this enzyme here. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Five grams. So we're at 31 C. This is going to come up to about 50 C. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and add this and uh, let it start working its magic. Gosh damn this thing. Let's try it with a little light. It is so, so seized on here. I have this bearing puller. I just absolutely torqued down. And it is not wanting to go, Lord have mercy. Anyway, heating it, letting it cool, heating it, letting it cool. Beating it with a hammer. It just sucks. I hate this. just you just can't even torque it enough we 
got the old uh, we got the old double wrench going here for added leverage. Stop this. Hey, got some movement. I keep going on it here. I think I can get it. It's probably gonna pop off ten times before I do that. Get liberal with it. Whee. Round two. Hug a mechanic, God almighty. I can try and take this off gracefully. He's such an animal. Nope. This is going to have to go all the way. There's so much damn shaft. Jeez, I have no idea if shaft is this one. The damn key weighs four inches. That's all I got on the bearing puller. Maybe I can pull this up. Sucked. 
All right, let's get these wires disconnected. This baby is burned up. We have had this motor since Carbon Earth. It is in terrible shape, but it just kept running. Not no more. That's funny. Right, let me get these off. Lord have mercy. This thing is awful. It's, if you were to analyze the material inside this motor, I wonder how much of it is from the previous company. I would say 98% of it is from the previous company, which is horrifying to think about. It honestly gives me the willies. But, hey, I'll be glad to have another one on. That's one less thing from my previous life I will carry with me. And that is a good thing. It makes me feel good to know that all of that is going away, little by little. All right, I gotta focus. In case you've ever wondered how much fat is in plants, I did a defatting of 100 grams of plant matter. And this is just the remnants that adhered to the surface of the jar. This is crazy. I don't know how bad you can see it in there, but this is fat, probably some chlorophyll, other things too, but that's a lot of plant material. They just adhere to it. Uh, fascinating, I thought. <laughs>